So now that we've created our cells and we kind of have a layout with merging lay, um, cells together, we're going to go ahead and just add in some data here. So um, just simulating like a design company or something like that, we could have a logo design project and maybe um, Dementi is our lead. And that started on the um, on 10.01. 20, right? Um, we could then put in a due date saying that's due at the on the 20th and then um, maybe you know they talk about the completion date and those kinds of things but that would be when you actually have it completed and that ha date hasn't come yet. And then let's say we've got like social media campaign and that's being done by Heather and that started on the 15th of September and it is due coming up here um, on the 15th of October. So now you have these types of project trackers that you could really come in and start working with and you can make things look totally different. You can make things um, have a lot of style and all that kind of stuff. But what I also want to do is like what you can do is also have data that really calculates and does a lot of things inside of tables. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another column off to the right over here. So pause the video here and add another column off to the right. All right, to add a column off to the right, we're going to go ahead and be clicked in the table. We can go up to the top here with the plus sign. We can also go to the layout tab and hit insert right or you can right click and use the insert option when you right click to be able to insert a column to the right. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and have this be estimated hours so we know how long something is gonna take. And we can again merge project tracker across, merge important dates across, or actually this isn't an important date so we're gonna leave that. We're gonna actually merge the row above estimated hours and below it together since important dates is not part of that piece. And then we're going to go ahead and put in some estimated hours here. So let's say this logo design is going to take about nine hours and the social media campaign is going to take about 12. And what's really cool is we can kind of go ahead and create a row down at the bottom to then total it and figure out like how many hours roughly are we working on this project for this company. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a new row. If you recall, a new row can be inserted all the same ways we just inserted a new um, column, but we can also be in the last cell of the row and hit tab on our keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these cells that are um, on the far left columns and leave just that far right column by itself and we're going to merge those together. And when we merge those, we're going to go ahead and put total hours here. And what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video here and make total hours be on the right side of the cell. To put this on the right side of the cell, you can use alignment up here. I'm going to just align it to the right side. And then what I want you to do is see if you can figure out how to make Word, yes, Word, calculate the total estimated hours. Now obviously we could add these together really easily in our head, but let's say you had like a bunch of rows and you wanted to calculate them. I want you to see if you can make Word calculate this total sum here. So go ahead and pause the video here and see if you can make that happen. So when you're on a table, you actually have the option in the layout tab to do more than just add rows and columns and distribute width and, widths and heights. You actually have this whole data section over here on the right where you can sort things, you can convert, convert a table to text, and you can create formulas. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the total hours cell under estimated hours, and I'm going to insert a formula from the data section of this tab. Formulas, this is kind of a quick introduction to Excel, but formulas in Excel look a lot like this. They begin with an equal sign to say this cell of the table is equal to this. It then gives you what kind of function you're going to do, which in this case we're going to do a sum function, um, where we're summing thing, we're finding the sum of adding everything together. And then in parentheses is what you're going to sum up. And in this case, it's going to sum everything above it. You can also do other types of functions like under paste function here. There's like averaging, there's counting, there's minimums and maximums, um, some multiplying things, all that kind of stuff. But in this case, it pretty much picked out the formula that we want. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see that it will actually add those two numbers together for you automatically. Something to note is if these change, like this goes to 14, you'll notice that it doesn't change automatically. You would have to recalculate it. So just kind of keep that in mind um, when you're using sums or formulas inside of a table in Word. In Excel, we'll learn how to make it update automatically for us. So now that we've got a good table here, we're going to go ahead and start adding some style to it in the next video.